message? What drew you to this film? You know, I mean, first and foremost, Amy Poehler is a powerhouse. Um, she is an incredible tour de force human being, um, but also she's an incredible ally. Um, and I think her intention to really making this film so inclusive, so representative of the different identities that exist in real life um, and telling their stories authentically, um, not just uh, for the art of tokenism or for show, uh, was so incredible and so wonderfully refreshing. Did you feel empowered when you read the script? 100%. I think I felt empowered from reading the script to being on set with such incredible women uh, and the conversations that we'd have so raw, so unfiltered. Um, it would just really embolden each other to become our best selves. And it was so energizing. Why do you believe this is the film for the times in which we're living? You know, I think 2021 is hopefully a time um, where people are having important and uncomfortable conversations in their home. And I think it's wonderful that we have those conversations on screen um, in hopes that we can perpetuate them in people's real lives and show how it can be done. I think now is the time more than ever. If anything, it should have happened um, years ago. Um, but I'm so proud of this pivotal moment in history. and. I am hopeful that people are holding themselves accountable and they're unlearning as well as learning um, and really evolving. In the film, your character says that some people, including teachers, refers to, refuse to call her by her preferred pronouns and wouldn't initially let her try out um, for the role of Aubrey, um, Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors. And I imagine that's relatable for a lot of people in the trans community. Do you mind sharing some of your own experiences? I think anybody who's faced systems of oppression because of the fact that you're from a disenfranchised and, and marginalized community, um, there are stories on stories on stories, um, which is why I'm so happy that this film can be made and, and depict multiple women um, from multiple different backgrounds. And these are experiences that happened in real life um, and they continue to happen. And in order for that to change, uh, there, there needs to be concrete uh, growth. And I do think this movie is a step in the right direction. The Moxie ladies seem to have such an incredible bond. Did you all bond behind the scenes as well? Yeah, we 100% did. I think these girls have become some of my best friends in the entire world, truly going to be my bridesmaids in my wedding. Um, Alicia Pascual Peña, who plays Lucy Hernandez, um, is my true soul sister. She has um, lived with me now for a year and a half. We met on this movie and I'm so grateful for not only my relationship with her, but my incredible relationship with so many of the women um, in Moxie, including Amy herself. Are there any be um, fun behind the scenes moments you can share? I mean, we just had so much fun on this film. <laughs> there was many times where we hit the floor laughing and <laughs> we could not get up because we were so exhausted after working like 16 hours. Um, we, we've talked about this in a lot of interviews, but there was one day where we all like kind of got the flu at the same time that week. And Amy basically hired a doctor to come shoot us up with a B12 shot. And that was kind of incredible and literally saved us for the entire shoot. It 100% energized us. So mm -hmm. you mentioned this. How did it feel to be able to work with Alicia again on both this and Saved by the Bell? That must have been awesome. Well, this is the film that we met on. Um, I actually wasn't really um, that close with Alicia while filming Moxie. She was someone that I knew I could trust and someone that I knew I could mm -hmm. rely on and at times throughout filming um, when there was, you know, slightest bit of difficulties of just like being a college student, having to deal with like being in five classes and film at the same time. I, I, I actually came to Alicia a few times and, and knew she would be there for me. Um, but it was really when um, we had those conversations, just as Cass, um, that I felt that specifically my relationship with Alicia was eternal and um, was lifelong. And Amy facilitated those conversations on set and also past that, you know, before COVID started, the entire cast came over to Alicia and I's house and we had the most wonderful night together. Amy brought over the most incredible um, pumpkin pie, insane, oh no, banana bread. I don't know fruit. Um, banana bread. <laughs> um, it was just so delicious. And she sat in this very room with us and just had such real conversations. It was, it was really grateful.